The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, racing fans, and welcome to the replay show from Laurel Park on Saturday afternoon, Kentucky Derby Day Saturday. We have 12 live races to show you from start to finish on our replay show today. Sunday, our final day here at Laurel Park before the racing scene shifts to Pimlico, home of the Preakness on Thursday, May 10th. Go to Pimlico.com for more details and information. Opening day will be Thursday, May 10th, and just two weeks from today, Saturday, it's the Preakness, Preakness 143 at Pimlico. All right, fast and firm the conditions for Saturday afternoon. Afternoon showers, perhaps just a light rain later on today. Winds out of the east-northeast at 10 miles per hour. Here's the first. In the gate, and they're off. Good luck, Jonathan. Favorite captain, Hardship. Admiration away in third position. Then Maynooth and a piece of Ikari in between horses. And Sundaram and Kodachi will be the one widest of them all. Into the first turn, run about the four path. Now moving within three and a half lengths of the pacemaker. Good luck, Jonathan leads the way. Good luck, Jonathan, an easy pace. From Captain Hardship in second. Kodachi, Admiration fourth. Length and a half more, and it's Maynooth. They're followed by a piece of Ikari. And Sundaram is last in seventh position and now eight or nine to make up very easy pace out there 25.87 for the opening quarter mile good luck jonathan is in front from captain hardship the favorite and kodachi on the outside a close third admiration down to the rail stalking from fourth position and maynooth is in fifth and piece of ikari and sonbarams to seventh 50.15 the half mile fraction on the firm going Good luck, Jonathan, still leading the way. Captain Hardship now with every chance to get by. Kodachi is in third, then Admiration on the inside and fourth, and May Nooth and Peace of Ikati is seven to make up, and Sumbaram is the trailer. Less than three furlongs to go. Good luck, Jonathan, ridden along a bit. Captain Hardship up to even terms on the outside. It's three lengths back, and Kodachi is in third, and Peace of Ikati and Admiration near the inside. Into the stretch, and it's Captain Hardship, and good luck, Jonathan. Kodachi trying to level from third position, and Pisa Vicati. Here is Captain Hardship, who's come away with a lead. Kodachi charging hard, extreme outside. Pisa Vicati rolling home. Pisa Vicati on the outside. Kodachi, Kodachi, and Pisa Vicati. Kodachi and Pisa Vicati very close. Captain Hardship was third in admiration, and Maynooth. In the gate. And they're off.
took over speed from the rail. Cannons Roar to the immediate chase in the second spot. Then out at eight and self-start is in between horses up close to Muta Rami near the lead as well on the far outside in the blue. Another three and it's Voodoo who's last of them all. Took over showing the way but Cannons Roar keeping the pressure on and so is self-start while three wide four deep out at eight is right there keeping pace and Muta Rami still continues on the outside on fifth and now we'll settle about three and a half or four from the front and moves closer down toward the inside as four of them are bunched up on that lead and Voodoo is last of all. Around that turn and it's took over. The narrow leader took over Cannon's Roar. Self start out at eight of the far outside. Mutarami sitting just off the lead now in fourth position and draws for a little more and Voodoo is last as they make the turn for home. Took over still brave. Took over's up front. Mutarami scooting up on the inside and out at eight in the center of the racetrack. Linger along in third spot. A furlong left to go. Took over stubborn. Took over's in front from Mutarami, then self started out at eight with a 16 to go. Took over, took the lead at the start, trying to hold. Took over, Mutarami, self start, photo. Took over in Mutarami, self start was third, out at eight fourth. One eleven point ninety five running time. And they're off. Miss World Venezuela and Sensational Dance are out first. The outside now is Sweethearted in third. And Conjecture and Pira's back in fifth in mid-pack. Dixie Rose and So Royal and Madame Carey is a trailer. Sensational Dancer now the speed of the speed. The tugging Sweethearted is very eager to put pressure on from the second spot. Conjecture Miss World Venezuela is fourth inside. Another three or four lengths back. Then it's Pira and Dixie Rose and Madame Curie and So Royal on the inside. Midpoint on that turn now and Sweetheart putting that heat on Sensational Dancer as Miss World Venezuela is taking out three wide to try to come back for a little more then Conjecture and they're into the stretch Sweethearted Sensational Dancer and Miss World Venezuela is willing now Miss World Venezuela picking up Sweethearted with a furlong left to go Sweethearted trying to hold Sweethearted an eighth of a mile from home Miss World Venezuela Conjecture is third to the center of the track and then in fourth trying to close as well as Pira for a late share it's Miss World Venezuela and a three-way photo for a second that goes to Conjecture, I believe, from Sweethearted and Pira in between horses. Four and a photo in one oh. And they're off. 
Changes coming, set up on the outside. Punch your brother at Bangle. Burke third from the inside. In him with him is back in fourth position. Then take warning out in the clear from fifth. Sir Brahms and no regrets for now trailing the field. Changes coming, gunning on that lead as a two-length advantage from that second flight. Punch your brother in him with him. And take warning racing about three, four wide of the turn. And bad angle, Burke is in that mix as well. Sir Brahms, no regrets for now. His last six from the front. Around that far turn, changes coming, leading the way in him with him. Extreme outside is take warning. At the rail is bad angle. Burke is running a big one. Punch your brother. Pressure to stay pace and no regrets for now. Sir Brahms on the inside. Into the stretch and changes coming still there. Changes coming. Bad angle. Burke in him with him. Center of the track is take warning. Four across the track. A furlong left to go. Bad angle. Burke is just in front. In him with him on the outside. Comes to even terms from in between. No regrets for now. A little bit of late kick. In him with him. In him with him. Caramanos in him with him in the winner's circle. In him with him from bad angle. Burke. Sir Brahms up the rail. No regrets for now and take warning. Time a minute five point sixty seven. to the right to get straightened. And they're off. Rhythm and rap and hip hop and sudden hope on the inside. Early speed. Royal Katie came away on the far outside racing in fourth position. It's a doozy. The real lefty. Jokers to the right. Then Patriotic Heart in advance of Double Down Donna, who's well back now. Got to be 17 off that pace. Sudden Hope speeds into the turn from Hip Hop by three quarters of a length and Rhythm and Rap going smoothly enough at this juncture. It's a doozy is in fourth. Royal Katie is ridden along a bit in fifth. The real lefty is six. Jokers to the right still eight lengths to make up in Patriotic Heart. Well back to Double Don Donna. Top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile to go. And it's Sudden Hope with swings for home. Sudden Hope kicks away two and a half from Hip Hop second. Rhythm and Rap on the outside. It's a doozy down to the rail from fourth and they've got three sixties left to run. And and it's hip hop, hip hop in front from rhythm and rap, rhythm and rap, and hip hop, hip hop, rhythm and rap, hip hop, rhythm and rap. One, two with a 16th to go. It's a doozy was third. Hip hop to beat rhythm and rap. It's a doozy was third. And then it was Sun and Hope and Jokers to the right. Five. And they're off. 
Union Blues and Brute Force with social media on the outside. And here comes O Captain, my captain on the inside. O Captain, my captain's on the lead from social media who settled about the three path. Then Brute Force in the favorite. Union Blues is in between horses up close. Another two and a half play. A DN and El Grio racing third last today is Sir Bond and Gotham News trailing. Gotham News about 14 lengths off the pace of O Captain, my captain. His long shot tree wheeling up front with about four and one half furlongs left to go. Has the lead by all. Almost three lengths. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Union Blues, a favorite, stalking from the inside, and social media is third outside of Union Blues. Then it's Palladian. On the outside is Brute Force in mid pack, and then El Grio, Gotham News, trying to unwind from the back, and Sir Bond trailing the field. So three ace to go, and it's Oh, Captain, my Captain. Union Blues, social media firing up on the outside to make three in a line. Now with two and a half furlongs left to go. Then it's Brute Force, Palladian, Gotham News, still 10 from the front. They make the turn for home now. Social media spins wide off the turn with a narrow lead. Union Blues game in between horses. Now got the head in front. Oh, Captain, my Captain continues to battle. Then play a D in. Gotham News even pace left lead center on the track. It's Union Blues a 16 to go. Union Blues from Oh, Captain, my Captain. Social media. Here's Sir Bun. Sir Bun flying on the outside. Union Blues, Sir Bun, and Oh, Captain, my Captain. Play a D in was next. Then social media or Gotham News. One twenty four point eighty eight the time. Photo fin And they're off. And the rail Firth is sent on for that early lead from Peach of a Gal and Ghoul's Night Out. Breaks running in third position, is taken back slightly off the pace now within four lengths of a solo leader to the turn. 86 Mets is next as they round that turn. Ghoul's Night Out is out wide. Shuffle back there, 86 Mets as Nikki rocks for Pop, saves ground. So around that turn, it's Firth leading the way. Ghoul's Night Out on the chase from second. It is Peach of a Gal in third. 86 Mets is in fourth. Nikki rocks for Pops down inside in fifth and participate as another two lengths back. Irish Access, Scat Gal is last on the inside. Scat Gal now improves to second last and seven from that leader. A race now with four and a half furlongs to go. The opening quarter, 24.96. And it's Firth and Kevin Gomez well settled on the lead three quarters. Ghoul's Night Out, Peach of a Gal is in third. 86 Mets participate in Nikki Rocks for Pops. They're followed by Scat Gal Irish Access, 48.94 the half mile. Into the far turn. Firth from Ghoul's Night Out, still a length and a half. Peach of a Gal fully ridden from third. Can't quite keep pace at this point. 86 Mets is in fourth. It's the other two and participate as next and Nikki rocks for pops Irish access three wide and scat gal last top of the stretch and it's Firth Firth is still there Firth chasing his ghouls night out four lengths back peach of a gal is in third Firth got a furlong to go to get there. Firth is in front by three. Peach of a Gal fully ridden but leveling off late on the outside. Peach of a Gal now out in the clear into Vargas and Peach of a Gal will get up. Peach of a Gal. Peach of a Gal had to work for it but got there. Ghoul's Night out then Firth and Irish access. Two and a photo. George Vargas Jr.
And they're off. Splendor got hopped in the air at the start. At Uster was first away from Queen to checkmate, and YUS right into it early up on the inside. They're firing off up front, and traffic plan is fourth. Chansey and Rock and Ruth and Splendor Gal. So it's Antester on the outside and YUS to the inside. They duel together about four lengths in front of Queen to checkmate in a prime spot. Then it's Chansey to the inside and traffic plan has six to make up early. And Splendor Gal and last is Rock and Ruth. Firing round that far turn. YUS continues to go at it full bore with Anester to the outside. It's six lengths and Queen to checkmate is asked for a little more run from third in traffic plan, driven hard in fourth. Splendor Gal is next, then Chansey and Rock and Ruth. Top of the stretch, YUS has been running hard the whole way with Aunt Esther. And turning for home, it's YUS breaking away. Opening up a three-length lead. Queen to checkmate. Got every chance to pounce now. On the outside, Queen to checkmate. YUS is holding firm at the rail with a furlong left to go. It is YUS just in front. YUS, Queen to checkmate. YUS, Queen to checkmate on the outside. YUS digging down. Queen to checkmate. Keeps on coming. Queen to checkmate. YUS photo finish. Queen to checkmate and YUS. Traffic plan was third. And then Splendor Gal, Rock and Ruth. Photo finish. In or off. Because Netsov, Louise, got some early speed in what the beep on the inside. Holiday Hopes is in between horses. The far outside there is Dendrobia stoking up pace as well. Now what the beep will settle fifth on the inside. Bagels and Locks, Wolverine is in between horses. Another two lengths back. Flying on the ground, racing out wide on the course. Back to War Tweet and Cut Time. And it's well back to the others. Uh, Bodella and Persian Polly. They're last in 18 off the pace up ahead. As Dendrobia has gone to the front. Dendrobia from Kuznetsov as they swing around that turn. What the Beep and Louise fourth the far outside. Holiday Hopes and War Tweet was saving ground and followed by Cut Time into the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Dendrobia What the Beep leveling in the center of the course and Kuznetsov down to the rail. What the Beep, Kuznetsov and Dendrobia. Dendrobia continues to battle but What the Beep's got the momentum. What the Beep is pulling away and that lasts for long with a 16th to go. What the Beep and Daniel Centeno for a double. Kuznetsov running gamely along with Dendrobia for second. Then Persian Pop Holly, holiday hopes. What the beep? Time. And they're off. 
Southern Barbecue on the inside, Charging Storm and Sir Alfred on the outside. Three of them in the opening furlong. It's Roethlisberger just in behind them, taken back in the fourth spot and rating along. And visual effects steady just a little bit out of the chute and Royal Crusader in the clear. And Legends Hope is last of them all. Pacemaking Southern Barbecue and so on the outside, Charging Storm. Here's Roethlisberger in between horses. Roethlisberger now tugs to the second spot. Sir Alfred is in fourth. Then it's Royal Crusader wide out there in fifth and visual visual effect and legends hope is last of them all heading on for the far turn run and it's southern barbecue roethlisberger just ahead behind in second sir alfred the favorite in third royal crusader on the outside then it's visual effect in fifth charge and storm is backed off a bit four and a half from the front and last is legends hope and two to far turn roethlisberger going on southern barbecue of the inside and then it's royal crusader who's next sir alfred's drop back drop back almost second last position pass to the outside Outside again by Charge and Storm, who tries to re rally deep out of the track and visual effect. And last is Legends Hope. They make the turn in, and Roethlisberger kicking free and opening up. Charge and Storm out of the middle of the track in second. Inside is visual effect. Then in between is Southern Barbecue to the last 3 sixteenths of a mile. Roethlisberger, Charge and Storm on the outside, coming back for more. Charge and Storm, Charge and Storm, Charge and Storm, and Caravanas to the 16th pole from Roethlisberger. And Legends Hope. Hope is third, Charge and Storm to win it by a couple of lengths. From Roethlisberger, third will be Legends Hope, and then Royal Crusader and Visual Effect. Eight. They are in the gate. And they're off. Discreet to seat and do what I say. And Dance Queen has early speed. Here's keep your distance. Quick acceleration on the outside. And here, keep your distance. Right to the front now. Keep your distance as move past them to take the lead from Discreet to seat. The second spot. Passionate emblem and it's racing fourth. Passionate emotion is racing fourth. Then it's Dance Queen and Wise Gal to the inside. Riley's Choice to the back of the pack. And followed by Do What I Say and Mischief Maz is the trailer. It is keep your distance showing the way from Discreet to seat in second. Passionate Motion is in third, and Wise Gal inside in fourth. Dance Queen, Riley's Choice still eight from the front of the outside, and do what I say in Mischief Moss. Into the stretch, keep your distance. Four lengths in front and three sixteenths from home. Discreet to see the second. Passionate Emotion on the inside. Do what I say. Coming on just a bit. Fire outside. Riley's Choice is getting going, but it may be just too late. A sixteenth of a mile left to go. Keep your distance. Discreet to see. Do what I say. Riley's Choice closing late in the outside. Keep your distance. Sharp to win. Keep your distance in the photo for second is do what I say discreet deceit.
Lined up. And they're off. Virginia Fable out first for the lead, but there goes Littering Judy, who's got good early zip from Egbert to second spot. Then Virginia Fable is back in third position, and Corinthian Showgirl on the outside in fourth. They are followed by Bellanora, who's traveling fifth and fourth from the front and getting over inside now. Then Samardi's view is about six from that lead as they head into the far turn run. Reign Supreme well in advance of the others in the back of the pack there. Rosie O'Darlin along the outside there is Sip at all, who's three wide on the turn, and say yes. Yes to me is back there as well. Coming to the top of the stretch for the extended run into the second wire, turning for home, and it's Glittering Judy flashing along. Glittering Judy with a three-length lead on Virginia Fable second and Egbert Racing third. And then Bella Norris fourth and Samardi's view in fifth. The last furlong they go. Glittering Judy in front and Judy Acosta going to work. Virginia Fable on the outside beginning to close ever so slowly in the last sixteenth of a mile. Glittering Judy, Virginia Fable on the outside. Glittering Judy, Virginia. Virginia Fable to the second wire. Photo! Oh, I don't know. It's close. Virginia Fable. That's a wrap for the Saturday replay show here at Laurel Park on Kentucky Derby Saturday. Sunday's our final live day of racing here at Laurel Park before the racing scene in Maryland shifts to Pimlico and all eyes on Pimlico home of the Preakness for Preakness 143. Join us Sunday afternoon, 110 post time for our final day here at Laurel before we move to Pimlico. Our Sunday brunch in the Garden Terrace is a great bargain, just $22 per person on Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching the replay show from Saturday. We'll see you Sunday at Laurel Park and down at Pimlico on Thursday, May 10th for opening.